As professional badminton players, we train for an average of four or five hours a day, sometimes burning up to 3,000 calories. And in our sessions, we do a variety of training, matches, multi-feed, training routines, technical and weights. And we're fairly conditioned to this type of training as we've been doing it five days a week for the last eight years. But do you think an amateur badminton player can survive our training for just one day? Well, in this video, we're joined by CKU, a fellow YouTuber and a self-proclaimed amateur badminton player. And we're gonna put this to the test. It's gonna be an interesting and fun video. So let's get straight into it. Good morning, CK. Hello. Thanks for joining us for a day of our training. Now, Thank you for having me. First things first, we've got to ask, how often do you usually play? Uh, two to three times a week. Okay, and is that a mixture of training or matches? Or? I try and train at least once a week, okay. and then other uh, club matches. Okay, so you're going to find today pretty pretty interesting and probably quite difficult. Absolutely. And we're going to start with program five of our multi-feed program, which is a 600 shuttle program. Have you done anything like that before? We've done a little bit, yeah, uh, okay. but then nowhere near 600 shuttles, okay. maybe 60. And also with some high intensity feeding. Looking forward to it, bring it. Okay, so the plan is for me to feed both of them at the same time. And to put CK through a true test, I'll be feeding him exactly the same as I am for Greg. And they're also both going to be wearing these heart rate monitors throughout to see any differences. Although I am expecting Greg still to be pretty tired. This is a really tough programme. Okay, enough chatting. Let's finish making these sets, warm up and let's go. Struggling. We're halfway of the program. Now have a two minute rest. It's funny because I've been watching those heart rate monitors the whole time. One of the biggest things I can bring my heart rate down quicker and recover quicker so that I'm able to go with quality to the rest of the set and rest of the match if it was in a game. Here's the average heart rate. So CK's was 30 beats a minute higher than mine throughout the whole duration of the first half. 100% pushing it. Yeah, but I think you started out really well. And then just tailed off. Yeah, I think that's just because I can recover and go there. But you make it look so easy, that's the problem. Maybe that's the thing where timing and technique comes into it a little bit. I mean, my technique's not great, but... Beginner to intermediate, intermediate to advanced, eh? Yeah. <laughs> we discussed that on our video last week. I watched it, that's why I know. Speed, yeah. technique, timing, but also practice. Absolutely. Oh. So CK thinks that's it. However, we've got another set. Not we're not done yet. We're not done yet. <laughs> now, now we're tired, we're gonna do some single shuttle stuff. To finish off, they've got three sets of rear mid 20 shuttles. This is more for consistency when the legs are really tired and your lungs are feeling tired, but you still have to have that quality of shot. And we're gonna put a bit of a challenge on it. 
If you make a mistake, you go back 10 shots. Let's go. So just looking through the stats on the heart rate monitors, uh, you spent over 50% of your time over 150 beats per minute. And I spent only 17% of my time over that. So could recover quicker. And I think you fatigued a lot, a lot quicker, um, which is probably shown by, you know, your shots if we actually analyzed it. And I think we just discussed you expending more energy on your shots, uh, less efficient. Do you agree? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's scary, the difference uh, in fitness and as well as quality as well. You know, I was just really impressed with the quality that you were producing, the power and the speed that's coming off your, your racket. And then me just miss hitting, clanging everything, framing. It. Yeah. yeah. Did you manage to keep up? Jenna was feeding the same pace uh, for both of us. Do you, do you feel you're struggling just to get there in time to play the shot you wanted? Absolutely. I think this is the level that you know we amateurs want to be playing at or aspiring to, and then so it's really good to see firsthand uh, how how good you guys are. So no, thank you for having me. I really oh, enjoyed it. It's good. Lots more to go. And if you do want access to our 26 multi-fee programs we've got, as well as the one we've done today, then we'll include a link in the description below to our website. Now the plan is to pick up all these shuttles, uh, about a thousand shuttles, refuel, eat, it's really important, hydrate, and then get ready to go again. Oh, don't forget stretcher because you'll be sore tomorrow. <laughs> then we'll be ready to go again for our next weight session. So we've just had lunch, chatting all things badminton on YouTube, and now we've got a weight session. Absolutely, we wow. are going to be bringing the power. Yeah, <laughs> have you done much weights before? Long, long time ago, long time not ago. anywhere in recent. Okay, not. so we're not, we're not going to be doing like the old biceps and triceps kind of workout, it's going to be badminton specific weights. Okay. Um, so trying to make us really strong, quick, and, and also robust so that we're not susceptible to injury. So that's a good plan. Sick weights montage in three, two, one, go. So CK, is there anything that surprised you about the weight so far? Um, it's all tailored towards badminton specific exercises, so it's really catered towards badminton players. So yeah. I was really impressed with how wide the varieties are, and I find it really effective. Yeah. It's not just about getting big and getting massive. No, I think getting big and massive is the bonus byproduct. Yeah. But getting good at badminton, that's the key. Yeah, that's the most, <laughs> that's the most important. <laughs> Absolutely. And weights are done. That was a good session. Now we have one more session of the day to go, and that's an on-court session. So we're going to spend the first 30 minutes doing some 2v1 defence work, and then the second 30 minutes is going to be a bit lighter, a bit more fun. We're going to do some challenges. But before we head back into the hall, we just want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. You've heard us mention Skillshare a few times in our videos now. It's such a great platform with thousands of classes on loads of different topics, from photography and videography to productivity and public speaking. As we've started planning for 2022, we have lots of big goals for both our badminton and this YouTube channel. So we're excited to re-watch one of our favourite classes on productivity, the Productivity Masterclass by Ali Abdal. And we know we have a worldwide audience here on our YouTube channel, so you'll be excited to hear that all of Skillshare's classes now have subtitles in Spanish, si. French, oui. Portuguese si. and Dutch. Yeah. So to join this online learning community, access the thousands of classes right now with no ads, then click the top link in the description below. The first 1,000 people to click this link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and thanks to you guys as supporting our sponsors helps to support us. Okay, let's go to the final session. So how are you feeling CK? Still fresh and ready for our final session of the day? Definitely not fresh, but definitely excited for the third and final session of the day. Uh, yeah. Bring it. Absolutely. Yeah, so we're going to do exactly what we did this morning. We're going to still feed you as we would feed ourselves, so you really get that feel of professional training. Absolutely. And put you under the same pressure. So, yeah, Bring two and a half minute sets. Let's get to it. Absolutely. Let's go.
just finished your fence. How do you find that? You guys are fast. <laughs> um, no, it's been really, really good. Like, I think it really shows the amount of pace you got, you know, on the driving bit, getting out of trouble, uh, and then also the quality of shot. You know, placing it in the right area, having the ability to do that. Uh, yeah. Whereas me, you know, I'm just literally scrambling just to get it back. Yeah, that's what I noticed. It's very reactive. Right? We're playing shots into certain areas to make it difficult for you. And I don't like o that. Often it's actually a winning shot, but even if not, you can only play a certain shot and then we're like on the next one. Absolutely. So it's not all about just trying to hit a winner straight away, especially when, you know, the shot's flat over the net. Absolutely. But yeah, I think you did quite well. Um, no, I was impressed with defense. Yeah. It was good. Naturally, you know, you're going to make more mistakes under the same pressure we put you in. Absolutely. Um, but the more you do that, the more you get used to that pressure, the better you'll Absolutely. get at Bampton. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we're going to go on to um, net cord accuracy challenge. So 15 out of 15. Can you get that? I'll be happy if I get two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh. Aye. I'll take it. So 10 for me, CK is up next. You ready? Go on. I was aiming for two. Yeah, <laughs> eight, eight for CK. Can Jenny be eight? No pressure. Today, you've given me a lot of insight into <laughs> how professionals play, you know, at what level that, that, you know, that us, when we watch the TV, we think, oh yeah, we can do that, we can do that. Actually, no, we can't do that. I don't think it, just uh, TV doesn't do Bampton justice. We might look a bit more casual when we're playing matches, but in training, it's like 110% all it. the time, yeah. And, yeah. and I think being able to sustain that, I think that's also a very key different, differentiator between amateurs and, and professionals. Like this morning, you know, the, the, the sessions that we did, yeah, yeah. I red line as soon as the second second set, you know, and then we had, what, 20 sets? 18, 18, 20 <laughs> sets to go with. So I was really just hanging on for dear life, whereas you were <laughs> pumping quality after quality and then the feeding as well. Being able to do that, I think that really differentiates pros and amateurs. So we won the technical challenge there, and that concludes our final session of the day. Uh, thanks again to CK for coming down today, and we had a lot of fun seeing if a club player could keep up with our professional training for the day and I think he did great. He put his body and a part his life on the line, especially in that multi this morning. I think it's been a really interesting video. Um, but yeah, CK's also done a few other videos from the day on his channel, so we'll include links to all of those in the description below. So go and check those out and show him some support. Yeah, yeah thanks a lot. No, thank you for having me today. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing. Um, I've, I've learned loads. I've gone through loads, um, I, you know. Yeah, and now, you know, just kickstarting the training the training bug and yeah I want to get better and so yeah if you guys want more training programs go to the website all links in the description <laughs> below and in Thank the meantime yeah in the meantime like the video smash the subscribe button oh you know yeah. <laughs> yeah really interested to see that difference between that amateur and a pro player so yeah Absolutely. hopefully you guys have found it interesting as CK said if you did enjoy it please give it a like smash the subscribe button we're quite close in and uh, we'll see you on another video bye bye, bye.